that's what Maryland does. And we are at M&T Bank Stadium down near the Inner Harbor of Baltimore. First carry for the former Buckeye, J.K. Dobbins. And so after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. From the gun, it's Jackson. On the left side, he finds Beasley. And a tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. Jackson from the shotgun. And he's got his man on the out route. Burrow going to fake to mix it and now look to throw. That one taken in by T. Higgins. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. On the ground, this is Joe Mixon. And he's got a Bengals first down as he's got... it on first down three yards on the pickup there that's what you're looking for when you're playing defense they snapped that at one now it's burrow looking right sideline but it's incomplete following the incompletion on second down the gun it's Burrow and he will not be able to hang on through the conduct to get going and they're coming off a three and out my friend I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before time to shake things the bagel pressure gets him that time down he go out there on the perimeter sometimes you don't have the agility to keep up with the defensive end who's looking to wreak havoc in the backfield and he got there and put his man on the ground He's going deep for Brown. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. On first and 10, it's Dobbins. And the result here, a pickup of eight. From the gun, Jackson. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he's now third and two. Now the first carry here for Philip Lindsay. And they're going to mark him down short. Is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Tucker's kick is good. Burrow throw. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. He got past the center and the guard in no time and got there to make the play. On second down, Burrow. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 18. Then he will bring it back to about the 11. Season, some of that would go away. Thus far, still looks a lot like his rookie year. They'll run on first down. Dobbins. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the... to the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Lamar Jackson. 
His third touchdown now on the year. As the Ravens push further out in front. Now this defense, so many things to worry about in the red zone area, but you'd have to almost think that Lamar Jackson running the football, that might be number one. About to get going. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So, decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words, early on. So they have to decide, do we even need to change the game plan, or do we just need to execute better? And 35 now as they come up on first and 10. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. He sets to fire deep. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. And he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. Preston Smith. Now Joe Burrow on third and long. He gets this in the hands of Mixon. And they work this well upfield across. First downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Now Burrow. Looking downfield and that's caught right side. He's got his man. They go back to the ground now with Mixon. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. Now it's Burrow. Got an open man. That's C.J. Uzama. Burrow, seven yards. The pick. Georgia Southern man, it's Matt Breda. And once again, they stop him behind the line. Great job by this Raven. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. And he'll take this into the end zone for Bengal TD. Tyler Boyd. His first touchdown of the new season. And the Bengals able to get this back within a touchdown. And they're back within a field goal. It's 10-7 now. Even offense set at the line for this next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last goal around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, hey, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make it. Now from the 28. Jackson going to tuck it down to the option. And he powers his way up past the two minutes gone by second quarter. From the gun on third down, Jackson. He'll get this to Philip Lindsay complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before... The play fake to Dobbins. Here's Jackson. And he can't find anywhere to go. 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. They'll try the draw. Lindsey. And a good swarm to the football. Operating from the gun. Jackson, and he's got his man, Marquise Brown. They'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 38. Jackson going to get this out to Brown. No gain there on the completion. Second and 10.
throwing is Jackson. And they're not able to hook up. Comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. They go play action with Jackson. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. And from the shotgun, he'll throw. He'll find his running back, Joe Mixon. And from the 25, they work this to the team. Out of the shotgun, Breda. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. Bengals on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. They keep it on the ground. This time it's Nixon. And he's got the first before he's brought down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Nixon. And he takes this up right near the four. Down schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it. Seven yards on first down. That fits the bill. Burrow now off the bootleg. Sliding out of the pocket. On the crossing route, complete. That's Boyd. And he's going to be taking death time. We'll head to Orlando. Standing by there, Jonathan Coachman. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL in this second week of the regular season. They go play action with Burrow. And that is incomplete here. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. Now it's Burrow. He'll drop this one down to mix. To the air again, Burrow. And that is incomplete. It's easy. To... Now Ryan Suckup will come on and try the field goal. This a 43-yard attempt. And the 12-year veteran knocks it right through. And they're back it's at the line, set to get going. And still plenty of time remaining here in the half, more than a minute. We'll see if they just want to protect that lead or try to add on to it. Well, with as much time as is left on the clock, I would imagine it would be the latter. I think they're going to try and add on to it. So what they're going to... Second and seven now from the 28. From the gun, it's Jackson. And he whips that one incomplete there. You have a job as long as you want one in this league, won't you? I mean, let's face it's not just West Coast offense either. He's putting the ball downfield as well. He may try and run for this. And he's going to have just a couple here with a marker on the field as well. Now Burrow on first down. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. incomplete to this point I face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down they're passing here joe burrow he finds his running back mix it they'll take this to the and big things can happen and they did right there first down here's burrow dumps it off to mix it 
Now on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. This will be spotted just shy of midfield. A 59-yard attempt. That's a one target, but it's no good. He got a chance to get one more drive in before halftime. Final play of the half here. It's Jackson. He'll buy some time right. Now he'll let it go deep right side. And oh, it'll be intercepted. William Jackson with a pick. And he will be brought down as time has now run out on this first half of action. We have hit halftime. Start to get going. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, OK, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? A field goal attempt for him. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Second down. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And they'll bring him down. Let's bring out an extra defensive back here on third. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. That will go for nine yards and a first choreograph. But how about once he made the decision to go? He committed to it and went. Let's face it, most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. And he gets this one to midfield before he's... From midfield now, Burrow. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And all the way down to the seven-yard line. The evidence was right there. Well, give it to Mixon. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. In play, you may have to go to the air. On second down, here's Burrow. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. So they... this about five yards deep and a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the third raven offense set at the line for this next drive the interception on the last drive proved costly led to the tying score so 17 all as they come up on a first down and he went backwards he'll be down at the 30 for the loss to start out here second and 11. From the gun, Jackson. He hits Beasley right side. And he'll get it out near the foot. He can run for it, and he will. And he's going to have a first step. This time, Jackson will throw it. And he'll be taken down. Imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Another try after the first down sack. Jackson. And this one's an incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. 
Jackson from the shotgun. And going deep downfield for... And that's caught inside the 35. Well, the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Now a toss left side for Dobbins. Yeah, that play is blown away because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. From the gun, Jackson. And this is incomplete. From the snap play of the drive coming up, and certainly not an easy one on third and long. Operating from the gun, Jackson. And all this is taken in one-handed. What a catch. Shake your head on a one-handed catch to pick up the first. Jackson fakes the give and keeps it. A strong running. <laughs> and he's brought down. Good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Baltimore. <laughs> Gus Edwards taking it in. And the Ravens have taken the lead. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to, the, to get going. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter, went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back where we started at halftime. Yeah, you're exactly right, partner. That little third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Now Burrow. Flush to his right. He'll try and run it. He finds an opening past the 40. And past the... On first and 10, Joe Burrow. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Now let's see who this... Taken down at the... Taking the right path to the ball carrier. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. And across midfield he goes. And Bengals on third down. They've been very good. Five for seven thus far. This will be third and five. Out of the gun. It's Burrow. Inside the 20. Out of the shotgun, they run with Mixon. Able to fight for about four yards there to the game. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. I need to clarify, I said getting their wideouts involved in the run game, but of course that was actually a pass as he popped it forward. Mixon trying to punch it in, and he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. Joe Mixon taking it in, and the Bengals are an extra point away from tying up this football game. And we are tied. Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. Under a heavy rush and down. And the job becomes twice as difficult now. After the sack, it's second and 20. Another try after the first down sack. Jackson, oh, looking for Andrews downfield. Ravens on third down. Six conversions and nine tries. They've done a great job of picking these up. This will be third and a mile. From the gun, Jackson. And Beasley with it over the middle. And he, this might be the best of the bunch. Jackson on first down. 
That's complete to his running back, J.K. Dobbins. The broken blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner. Everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short game. Jackson, he's going to keep it himself. And he'll be out of bounds. A pair of first downs gives him a first and 10 up at the 44. They run the toss with Dobbins. And he'll work it across midfield. Dobbins with over 2,000 yards in their final season in college. They went early in the draft. Instead, he somehow lasted until the second round. But how great is it to get a guy with that ability who can run it inside, run to the perimeter, and catch the football out of the back? They only got a yard out of that last completion. And that makes this second and nine. with Lindsey out of the gun. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. Can it cost him? After the delay, they're backed up even further for third and long. <laughs> Operating from the gun, Jackson. He'll find Dobbins out of the backfield. And he's going to be stopped here at the this. So here comes Justin Tucker in a big spot. This to break our fourth quarter tie. And this one looks good. And Bengals drive about to get going. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ball game. Buying time to his left. He's going to take off with it. And he's brought down, getting the... From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. And the Raven pressure too much. Downage back after the sack. Second and 19. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. And that is incomplete. Like the time. If you're there, make the contact. But continue to work your way through the receiver so that you can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. Now Joe Burrow on third and long. That's going to be caught by Josh Reynolds. And he'll be taken down. down sticks. Don't let him get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. Taking it about the 16. They'll call it a punt. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. Fight forward to about the 27. Jackson with a handoff to Dobbins on the option. He's on third down. Well, they've converted seven times and could use another right now. This will be third and six. From the gun, Jackson escaping the pressure right. That's caught by the former Sooner, Mark Farr. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. On first down, Dobbins pushing forward for Thraven football here as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. On second down now, it's Edward. Get up front. I don't want my running back hit as I hand the ball off to him. I don't want any type of an issue. But if I am going to throw it, quick throw out to the perimeter. Maybe one of my best receivers running a quick slant or something like that. On the option, it's Jackson. Nickel look here for the Bengals as they try to defend this on third. Jackson to throw. He's got a first down and then some inside the 40. And finally, 1,000 or more rushing yards 
in the same season. And we've seen both of those talents on display here today. We just saw another completed pass. And everyone knew coming out of college he could run the Nothing else. They've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. So the final seconds tick away in this Baltimore victory. And it wasn't really always pretty. They had their bumps and bruises. Really, both sides did. But they did what they needed to do at home to get the win. Yeah, they really had to grind this one out, didn't they? Because nothing came easy. Every snap was a major league brawl. They had to win at the line of scrimmage, win downfield. They got all those things accomplished. But to win a close one like this... You know, every team wants to be physical. We've heard that a million times, right? But those who are mentally tough, those are the teams that you have to deal with in the playoffs. This was that type of a game. So for the Ravens, it's a win here in their home opener as they move to 2-0. and And they will hit the road next week to take on the Tennessee Titans. Meanwhile, for Cincinnati, they'll fall to 1-1. One and one. And they'll try to get back on the beam next week as they'll head to Cleveland to take on the Browns.